What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I got my second update on a 1932 Ford chopped sedan. Uh, so this is actually looking really cool. Uh, so again, this is an appreciation build we're doing for Tom Member 69 and also, you know, one of the themes for next year's NL East show. So right now I have it mocked up. I love doing these mock-ups. Just, you know, it just kind of gives me a general idea on how it's going to look and make sure everything's fitting good, especially if it's not a kit, this is basically all scratch built for 3D printing. Um, you know, some custom parts here and there, uh, part parts, some parts from the 29 and 34 Model A Coupe sedan, and all that fun stuff from, you know, not sedan, but Coupe from Ravel and a Jimmy Flintstone body. So there's a lot involved here. Uh, so let's show you where we're at. But before we start breaking it down, I will I will be showing you guys the colors that I chose for this. I do want to do very poppy colors because if you know Tom, he basically does, he basically does all poppy colors, uh, especially on his hot rods. I haven't seen like a hot rod from him like dark colors, maybe one, but it was like a military type deal. It was like a matte. Tom he does like mostly like showroom finished hot rods. He doesn't really rust them. He doesn't do like, any rat rods or anything like that. He makes them more like showroom finished cars, and you know that's basically what I do. So. I was thinking doing a candy color, but I went with my splash paint drawer and I found some really, really nice colors. So first things first, um, I got two colors. I might have my Instagram followers um, vote because I did text Tom and ask him what's his favorite color. Tom didn't say he doesn't have a specific color. So I figured must my Instagram folks jump into this action and I'm gonna have them vote. I'll have a poll up by tomorrow or today. This video's you know, coming out. Uh, so, first color I chose is Frostbite. This color is a beautiful blue. I mean, it's not dark. I don't, like I said, I don't want to do any dark colors because that's not how Tom does his builds. Uh, I think only dark colors I've seen was like that one hot rod and his one of his Broncos. <laughs> that are other ones I've seen are all poppy colors. So, uh, but very cool. So, we got this Frostbite blue from Splash Paints. We got that one. Or we also got. Cinnamon stick. This is actually a really cool color. This is actually a Dodge color that Splash sent me for the Dodge Charger, which well, you know, one of the one of the colors he sent me. I think the cinnamon stick is gonna look really good on this. I mean, both of these colors. So I'm having a hard time choosing. So I'm gonna have my, again my Instagram followers. If you're following me on Instagram, link is in the, in the description. I had to pull up I, when this video is coming out. And you can choose which one you want. And whichever color, color wins, that's the color we're gonna go with. So we got two amazing colors for this. So very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and go through all the parts outside. Actually, I got I think basically all sanded and smoothed out, and this, like I said, it's basically your primer. So we got all of the drum brakes here, all sanded. Those look phenomenal. So we got those going. I did make bigger ones, i uh, make sure, but I might put the bigger ones in the front, who knows, but I'm like, they're the same size right now, but who knows, I might put like bigger ones in the front or big ones in the back, who knows. Uh, oil filter, we'll probably do that in like, you know, typical filter colors, red, blue, or white. And then here is that, top of your engine, you know, all your engine parts, and um, the engine, I might do it in the same body color, who knows, or a contrast color from it. Uh, because that will look pretty slick. So we got all the valve covers. Both of these colors I will be doing uh, like a black theme. So the wheels I'll be doing black and or chrome or silver on the rims and then on the outer whip, lip at least I might do black. But we'll see which what I prefer for each color. Uh, and then we did choose, I did choose, but I'm going to be using the longer uh, Vesti stacks for the exhaust. I did test fit them. Uh, well, kind of like mocked fit them, and this is how it's gonna look. So I'm right down there. So yeah, this is gonna be really cool. So this will probably do like black or like a really dark, like jet, jet, like um, what is it? Like a jet, uh, jet. I forgot the name of it. It's alcrite color, uh, some kind of jet color. Uh, so we got that. And then the battery, this is from Miguel over at Hobby Works, so we'll be using that. I got two alternators, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, the more like a modern one or like an old fashioned one, but we'll see. Uh, we'll probably use one of those, but I'm not sure which one we're going to think of. 
front suspension springs. You got those all going. Here is the starter. Check out the little detail. You got that little <laughs> connector there. Just a detail in these. 3D sprinters can do. It's amazing. Then you get your transmission oil pan right there. So that means it is an animatic. Just in case you don't know, um, you know, most transmissions that has oil pan means it's basically an animatic. In most cases. Maybe some manuals have some oil pans, but who knows? <laughs> but um, yeah. So now we're down to the car. I as you see, I did break out the roof, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. Um, we got the 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 grill here. So there is the grill, that's the I'm going to be doing this by color, and then here is the actual grill. I got that all sanded and smoothed and looking amazing. So this will actually, this is actually from Miguel over at Hobby Works. It just clicks right in. Look how nice that clicks in. So I got, and I got a radiator. Miguel's kit does not come with radiator, radiator but I do have a radiator file. I sized up, we got that going in there, and then we got electric fan will be going in there. So very cool. So we got the grill, radiator, assembly going on. Uh, the wheels, we'll just put these out the back ones. I just have blue dots holding it down because I didn't make the axle long enough. Well, I didn't put a long enough attachment on there, so I'm gonna have to do that still. But here are the wheels, they're just mocked up in there. I gotta have a press them out, but they look very nice. So, again, a little bit bigger ones on the back in my first update video. So, uh, and they are the same width, that's how I want it to look like, and they look amazing. Get these out of the way. Again, very nice. Uh, and I, I am going to be doing, you know, all black walls. I don't want any white walls or anything like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and just kind of just take it apart. Body, we'll show the body later. Get that out of the way, and we'll just put that down. And then, yeah. So these are the seats we'll be using. I did confirm I will be using these seats. These seats look amazing. So. We'll get those. I, I did not see in the bottoms yet, but I will get those down in there. Here is basically how the frame kind of looks with the, you know, interior floor. It fits right in there. So got that all sanded. I'm going to be flocking this. I'm going to do some carpet. So I'm not too worried about the texture on there, but I did get the transmission tunnel sanded smooth. So we got all that going. And then we got the front suspension. Again, I just got glue dots. Just in case you're wondering how I Mark out my parts, I use glue dots. Glue dots is amazing, and they're, you know, you can just throw them out when you're done. So we got that, and then here's the front suspension. I do have to cut these nicks a little bit smaller, because the front wheels, I think they're sticking up a little bit too big, or too much. So just cut these a little bit, so the wheels are, you know, in a bit more, so. But, very nice, we got steering on there, that fun stuff. And then we got the engine. And dry shaft. Um, this dry shaft is actually a bit big, um, so I might be cutting this because I'm not sure you just saw it. Um, the transmission is actually kind of peeking out. It's, the engine is sticking out a bit more than I want it to be, so I will have to cut the, the dry shaft. That's why it's sticking out. So I'll be cutting that so the engine is more snugged in. And then here are his, our, well, as much as I, I'll assemble it, small block, you know, wide block for V8. And then we got the transmission. Transmission will be doing, you know, like aluminum, so got that. And then our engine block, uh, again, I might do like a contrast color or same body color as the body, so because the engine is exposed, you know, you want, you want to make this engine look really nice. So this is all going to be like same body color, like I said, and then the rest I kept off, like the valve covers, because I might do that in chrome and, you know, oil paint and fun stuff. So we got all that separate, but that's as far as we're going to assemble on the engine and then we got the yeah i gotta cut these pegs off anyway get those out here because those are too small uh, and then we got our four link i did glue on the four links already because i kind of want them to be some color as the axle axle I might do like a black or in chrome i'm not sure yet but axle looks really nice and then of course we got our frame get these glue dots out of here uh, but, well, yeah. And there's our frame. So we got the front suspension uh, leaf springs mo uh, mocked up, and then we got our engine mounts mocked up. They are cockeyed from each other because the oil, because the oil filter is on one side, and our side has a has the um, starter, so I have to uh, you know mock that, but it does fit nicely in there with 
that cockeyed, you know, type of a uh, engine mount, but it works and it looks really good. And then, yeah, whole chassis it looks good and it's gonna looks it looks amazing and it's gonna work really good. I love the holes; it looks really good because these, I believe, the first three holes will be will still be visible on the outside of the body. So very cool. So we got our frame, and then here is our body again. I got my roof cut out. Um, well. Yeah, it's just kind of mocked up in there, but I did cut it out. That took, you know, some measuring, but it does, it actually does click it right into place. You just mocked up one side and, yeah, look at that. Looks amazing. I did not want to do the whole roof. I didn't want to go up to this far because, you know, it doesn't, wasn't really the way I wanted it to look like. I kind of wanted this to be more, you know, like this, and then roof kind of back a little more, and that's, it looks amazing. Again, glue it down, because it is not meant for this, because obviously, you just gotta glue it down, and it looks really good. So I might do this in like a gloss black, the frame, and then the curtain will do it in like a matte black, because it's, you know, like fabric or whatever. And then here is my custom made back end. That covers, you know, the axle and stuff, so it's not exposed, and that's how they are basically. We'll just get this out, it's just marked it in there, and just made this out of, you know, styrene sheet. And this will do interior cover, and at the bottom we'll probably do body cover, and then up here we'll do flocking, you know, that fun stuff. So we got that, and then here is our beautiful Jimmy Flintstone body. Amazing! This actually did not take, I, I, I totally forgot Jimmy Flintstone bodies or any type of resin. It cuts really fast. Like I said, I use my my panel line scriber. This cut this roof out, and just case you're wondering, here is the roof. It really cut it out in like I probably spent like 20 minutes on it, not even. It, it cut very fast. So yeah, make sure if you're cutting it into resin, be very careful because it it does cut very fast. You're, even if you're filing, you're using filing sticks um, like these. Um, yeah. Go slow because it does cut very easily and you can sometimes overcut and yeah. <laughs> so be very careful and then we got the firewall cut out for the trans new transmission tunnel and then up here so the uh, chassis can go in deeper and then we got the axle cut out where the axle can go up more up higher so this thing has a nice stance to it. Uh, the body were pretty much all set. I got the panel lines all scribed out. Um, I did scribe, I did overshoot. Right there, just in case you I do overshoot, we're all humans, so just not a big, not big deal. Just got some putty in there, got it smoothed out, and that looks good. You know, I gotta see it after primer or paint or whatever, so very cool. And then I love how this body has mold in door panels, so I don't have to make um, door panels, so that's a nice future. But very nice body, and we got this base bad boy all sanded. I will have to make templates out of matting tape. And then I might transfer it over to, you know, styrene sheets, and then I might vacuum form these windows. I do have a vacuum form machine, so I might actually vacuum form the queer parts, and we'll see how that works. But uh, we still gotta do that yet. But other than that, that's about it. Um, but yeah, the next thing you'll see this will be in paint. It won't be the final, obviously. It'll be in paint, and I'll show you the interior and the body and all that fun stuff before we actually wrap this baby up. I'm hoping to get done you know, by the end of this month, so I can start fresh next year, but we'll see. But we're pretty much ready for primer at this point, so I can't wait, and hopefully by next week we can get it all in color. But all right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think, and again, head over my head over my Instagram uh, when this video is getting posted. I will have polls so you can choose which color you prefer, and because I'm having a hard time, and you know, whichever one wins will be the color. But until next video, guys, until next I'll catch you out next time. Take it easy.